everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a few things. Basically, I was looking for a GIF, GIF the other day and I was looking through the ones that were made for me and this one popped up. I don't know who made this. Actually, I probably do. But uh, yeah, there, this exists in the GIF world on Twitter. Here the person is trying to outline the differences between me and real life because this was taken from a live video and screenshotted to my photos. It's just angles and lighting. I'm just kidding, I need to admit something now. I had a secret weapon. I was going through my junk drawer here the other day and I found this old camera that I used to use and I thought, this must be fate. Like, my old photos coming back, this old camera I used to use. I need to make a video where I expose my old photos on this particular camera and explain to you how I would make them and produce them and produce this whole image. So the camera that I used was actually this one. This is the Casio EXTR15. Honestly, I feel like this camera was made for me because it has my initials TR in it and I love anything with a good TR. My first email was actually tr underscore way too cool at hotmail.com after the wrestler but I saw girls using this here in Hong Kong this is from when was this like I think five or six years ago when I was living here so this is pre Japan I have a few phases this is really old like Taylor 1.0 and then I got the new version of this camera it was a pink one and I don't know where that is right now but that was like a year after I was in Japan, which things got a little bit more escalated. So that's Taylor 2.0. Um, this is Taylor 1.0. So this is just like the dolly style, uh, the makeup, and but not like to the full. So the reason I got this camera was because it let me live my best kawaii dolly weave life. It it enhances, I say that very lightly, it photoshops your features basically for you. It instantly makes your eyes a bit larger and makes your jawline a bit slimmer and gives you this like alien look that I saw after so much during those years. I would get called out for it all the time back then. People would be like, whoa, that's really photoshopped and I would be like, no it's not, I didn't photoshop it at all. Which technically was true, I didn't, it was a camera. I haven't looked at this since 2013 when I stopped using it. Um, so I have no idea what's inside and I'm kind of terrified to look at it. It's been dead ever since. I just found it in my drawer. I started charging it this morning so that we could view the contents. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... on. Ooh, honestly, I still kind of like this. It makes my makeup look amazing. You can see what it does. It makes your forehead super long, makes your chin and jawline smaller, and makes your eyes bigger. Which was exactly the look I was going for before. And it makes your skin look smooth and younger and brighter and your blush is more pink. Everything's a bit more pink tone maybe. All right, let's expose Tay Tay 1.0. This is a great picture to start off with. You can see in the back here, there's this light box. So I would even use, not only is like, this perfects your skin and the lighting and like, manipulates your face, but I would even further set up light boxes to, to look even more perfect. There's one up in the ceiling because I would set it up there to make this shine on my hair so that my hair looked extra shiny. A lot of you guys were like, oh, I loved your hair before. It looks so sh soft and shiny and now you kind of like don't do anything with it. But like it honestly never looked like that in real life. This is fake. I was so fake. Okay, moving on. This seems like I was doing a, a, a light testing or something because I had to do that before I actually took the picture and did makeup. Okay, so then we have a couple full body ones which you kind of can't see really clearly the effects of the camera. I'm pretty sure I posted these anyways. It looks so blurry. Um, so here's me posing in a Blith doll shop, kind of like, look at me, uh, 
look at these dolls. Please tell me I look like these dolls. What was I doing here? Oh, some job. Oh, a Christmas. I was doing, I was modeling for an event. I was, a, I literally would never show any emotion in my face. It would just be like, ooh, I like my hair here. Oh my God, look at Rosie. <laughs> oh my God, my old bed. And Rosie, she had a 1.0 kawaii version too. I'm gonna save this story for another time, but I have a story about this event. But here I am wearing Liz Lisa to some big high fashion event in Hong Kong which I don't regret at all. I think I look amazing. Oh, I don't have many. This was a trip to Japan. So the main difference between how I took my photos then versus now was I would one, use this camera which would Photoshop my face automatically and I would look into the camera, I would make my eyes as big as I possibly could to the point where blood vessels were basically popping out because I wouldn't blink. My eyes as big as possible both with Photoshop, makeup and like holding it like this. I would smile as least as I possibly could so that there wouldn't be any lines or wrinkles or any sign that I'm human at all basically. Just a little or I would show teeth slightly like a and now I just take my Instagram photos with my phone. The iPhone takes really good quality photos and I try to take them in good light, make them as sharp and clear as possible and I honestly like to go in with Facetune here, I was working on this photo right now that I want to post later. And I like to sharpen everything. So it's kind of the opposite of what I used to do before. I like to have everything washed out and blurry and bright. But now I like to really sharpen the eyes and sharpen my features and make everything pop more. So I sharpen the eyes with the sharpen tool in Facetune and a little bit on the mouth and the highlight on my nose. And then um, I will put a filter on it. Usually I like the ones in Afterlight. And then sometimes I'll like adjust the coloring when I upload it to Instagram depending on how it will look like the brightness, the highlight, the warmth and saturation. But that's basically all I do. I'm going to try and take photos in the old style I was taking them. And maybe I can post one to Instagram and see if you guys notice it. Notice any Photoshop or like if it's like the old me or not. I even kept the old me I used. Okay, so Tay-Tay 1.0 would draw her eyeliner from the center of her eye like this straight out past the eye line sorry this camera's too bright the sun keeps changing then you go in with your eyeliner to color in between the fake waterline that you created and your real one and I used to use white, but I don't have a white one anymore because I never use it. But I'm gonna use this beige color one and then go over top of it with white eyeshadow to mimic the look I went for. But basically I would, I would even get a little bit on my eyelashes because I didn't want the start of my eyelashes point to look like it started where it really did. Then we're gonna go in with eyeliner and I actually have the old one that I used. Basically the eyeliner should get thicker from the center of your eye towards the end and you want to connect it to this liner at the bottom. Alright, and then the next step is to put lots of white in the corner of your eyes, which I still always do because it makes your eyes look brighter and more awake. I'm using this Etude House sparkle pot thing, Ooh, which I actually really like. I need to bring this back into my life. Now it's time for fake lashes. I would cut them in half and place them just on the second half, but off of my eye on the eyeliner that, ex that is extended. I would also put lashes on the bottom lid on 
the outer corners too, but I don't have any right now that are like thin and smaller and natural looking as bottom lashes like what I used to use. So I'm not gonna this time, I'm just gonna put an extra coat of mascara on the outer ones that I have here. And then sometimes I would put in circle lenses at this point, but then they were a bit smaller and I didn't always wear them and I don't have any smaller ones like that now. So I'm just gonna go with the not wearing them look. And then for lips, I basically erased them and made them non-existent. And now I'm the opposite. I like to overdraw them. And I'm probably gonna cringe at that later too. This looks like year 2000, Taylor. I used to do this look all the time, just like concealer, no lips at all. This was the trend in 2000. Then I would take lipstick and I would put it on focused on the center of my lips. So just making my lips as small and round as possible, I guess. Then I would add a bit of lip tint to the center only, blot it out. There we go, this was me in 2012, 2013. This is my finished look. My boyfriend just got home, so let's go show him. Princess taste back! <laughs> Do you like it? Sure. This is how you first met me, this look, 2000. This was like before Japan look, before no, contact lenses. Something. I didn't put in contact lenses, but I didn't always wear them. <laughs> look, babe, look at you. What? I found this photo on there. <laughs> I was so skinny. But this, that camera, it's a Casio camera, makes you look slimmer mm. and smaller. But um, was, it's funny how you haven't changed over such a long period of time, but I've changed so many times. <laughs> I have six faces in my iPhone. <laughs> I have six faces. So you like this look, but you don't like my strong makeup look. That one is too, too much. This is not too much. Do you remember these? Yeah. In this skirt. TJ. TJ. You guys are loving it. No, it's, it's so cool because most of you know exactly what's going on and that's how long you've been with me for and that's so cool. We've kind of grown up together. I've transformed to look like every celebrity I liked. So like Spice Girls, Britney Spears, whatever I liked at the time. But then I also had Gordy phase. I had my gangster phase where I would dress like Nelly or Jay-Z and only wear Rockaware or Nietzsche or Baby Fat, stuff like that. And then I also had my slightly punk phase. Not too hardcore, I didn't get into emo. I had my Dolly Lolita phase. I, I had a lot of phases. I am a master of transformation. I, I can shape shift into everything, even into a different race, according to my dad. He actually thought Lena Fuji was me on the cover of this magazine, and he posted this on Facebook, like, so proud of you. I confused him, I confused myself, um, but I had a lot of fun along the way, I have to say. I, I don't regret it at all. I'm so happy that I got to experience different looks and try different fashion and just like reinvent myself and find myself. I'm always, I'm still changing. I'm gonna look back on the stuff I do now and cringe too, but this is all a part of life and I wouldn't change it. And this is no hate to people who like Gyaru style makeup or Lolita fashion or girly cutesy fashion. I still like it too. This is more against my thought process behind it and the lengths I would go to portray a certain image. I hope you had some fun watching this too. Let me know in the comments below what your cringiest phase was to date. And um, I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, which is gonna be tomorrow. Bye! Where should I go? Hello,